Susan, William, and Terry have me escaping the city and crossing the lake for a bowl of gumbo that's a little bit different. Let's see why USA Today voted this the best gumbo in Louisiana. Welcome to Hambone. So nice to meet you, Marcy. So nice Thank to meet you, you so much for having Thank us for here. here. We're happy to have I've you. I've been really excited to come to Hambone. And this is Mandeville, Louisiana. When I crossed the lake, it was just such a beautiful drive. Tell us about the area. Just about a 45 minute drive from New Orleans. It's a great little getaway. Um, lots of outdoor stuff to do. Nature's really great over here. And we're Love located like very close to the lake, right? Uh, we're five blocks from the lake. It's such a great little neighborhood. There's little shops on the street, restaurants. It's a really great place to be. So when I rolled up, I was really, really excited because I was just blown away. I was so beautiful, the red tin roof. You just can't miss it. Thank you, yeah, it's an old building. It was built in the 1940s, Swedish architecture. It was an old house, so there's lots of different rooms where guests can sit, and it's really got like a nice homey feel to yeah. it. Yeah, and I know my mom friends are gonna love this. Yes. It has a fenced-in playground. Uh -huh. <laughs> Tell us about who decided that. Yeah, was it sure. already here? So, you know, we moved to Mandeville a couple years ago. We had a baby and moved across the lake like a lot of people do, and we knew this was the community we were gonna be surrounded by so we immediately fenced in the front yard so no kids would be running out into the street moms and dads can drink beers and mimosas and you know not have to worry too much about what their kids are doing it's a really great way to relax for families Hambone was just given USA Today's best gumbo in Louisiana yeah you know that just <laughs> blew our mind that was a, a crazy recognition that's done nothing but great things for us. I'm really excited to get in the kitchen. Okay. Are you ready? Yes, is Luke ready? Let's is the do question. It. <laughs> okay, chef. It's the gumbo episode and your gumbo has received a lot of attention. USA Today's best gumbo in Louisiana. Yeah. Uh, welcome. What makes your gumbo special? A lot of ways of thinking about gumbo, people sort of rigid when they approach gumbo, but we, we try to play it fast and loose. Okay, let's get started. Okay, once well, so we get all of our mise en place and ingredients prepped, I like to lay them all out and they go into our large cast iron smoker. This is sort of a small representation of what we do to the gumbo. So we have all of our meat, our ham hocks, our andouille sausage uh, laid over top of our Creole Trinity. Our uh, ham hock. Ham hocks. Sausage. These are, um, trotters. So as this will roast and smoke, the drippings from this Cajun charcuterie will drip onto the trinity. It, you know, not a speck of flavor is lost that way. Right. The, uh, the smoke is important as well. So, so cool. everything is going to get enveloped and flavored with smoke. They'll smoke for about an hour. They'll get turned over into a, a larger vessel and we'll braise them with traditions totally relaxed and the meat just falls off. That so liquid, that braising liquid is the liquid for the gumbo. That's what we put our roux into. The collagen and protein inside of those hocks and trotters mm -hmm. is so packed with collagen, which is the protein that gives it like that unctuous viscosity. Mm -hmm. For us, that's my secret ingredient. You use a lot of fresh local ingredients, right? Yeah, everything that you see in this pan came from um, a local farm or local producer. You know, clearly when you put a lot of love into your gumbo, you get that response. Appreciation for good food, for traditional food, but also more adventurous diners, they're here. You know, you don't have to necessarily go to the city to get that quality of food anymore. I think um, times are changing and Mandeville has some pretty exceptional food. Are you ready to try some gumbo? I'm ready. So all the vegetables that we cooked, the ham hocks, the andouille sausage, all those things have been added to our beautiful stock, thickened with a chocolate brown roux. So now we're going for the Gulf shrimp. Gulf shrimp go to the very last second, moments before it goes out to the guests. Okay. Um, Am I, may I? Please, go ahead. It's imperative that we do this at the last second. I hate getting gumbo where the shrimp is. Cured. I'm excited for what you add. We put potato salad in it. We call them pops, P-O-P-S. It is pickled okra potato salad, like it sounds like it has little slivers of pickled okra in there. The crispness, the acidity, the sharpness of the okra, it really helps to cut the richness, the gumbo, the ham hocks, such a rich mouthfeel and flavor. 
that together with that the sharpness and acidity of the okra, it works together in your mouth. Yeah. They really balance each other out. And then the last step is just some really fresh cut green onions. So it's a functional garnish, they do add flavor. Well, Chef, I'm gonna go talk to some of your customers and I'm gonna meet you and Marcy in the dining room. Sounds good, thanks. I like that deep, dark roux, that traditional flavor, and all the little goodies that go with it. They just do something amazing every time I eat it. Like just now, I got goosebumps. I mean, you can see it on my arm. So that's why I come here five times a week. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, gang. Thank Cheers. you for having us. Ready to eat some gumbo? Mm hmm Okay, so I'm really excited about this pickled okra in the potato salad. I love the little extra zing at the end. I didn't plan to serve gumbo here. I decided to make gumbo for our son Hank's first birthday party, and it was a hit. There's an amount of luck involved. My time at Commander's was very formative for me and I uh, always hold a special place in my heart for that restaurant and that business, especially because I met my wonderful wife there. Aww. You were a server and you were a sous chef, is That's that right. correct? Yep. I love that y'all are a husband-wife team. This project to us is sort of, it was important to us to have a vision and really serve the local community here. It's definitely unique and you can tell that both of you have put your heart and soul into building Hambone. You're on the North Shore, so you're really close to some of the local farmers. The proximity to the farms has been one thing that was going to make operating a restaurant up here so fun. Okay, clearly I'm not shy. I ate like almost the whole bowl. I I'm love impressed. what y'all have created here, both of you as a team, chef, putting your mind to matter and creating nice. this incredible dish and everything else on your menu. So thank you so much for having us. Thank you for coming. We loved having y'all. Of course. <laughs> yeah, come back anytime. Yes, sir.